So good afternoon, it's Patty Bogue and we are doing a chair yoga. So just take a comfortable seat and kind of sit out on the edge of your, of your chair and then grow tall and just close your eyes. So a lot of you know I'm trying to get this business, a bridal boutique open um, with my daughter and it feels like, you know, we go along and then something hits us and goes amiss. And last week, the front of our building, they were trying to take down the previous tenant sign and it lit on fire. So we had flames and the fire department had to come. And so, you know, when, when those kind of things happen, I'm so grateful for my yoga practice because you can feel the tension in your body. For me, it's my shoulders start going up for you. You might clench your jaw. Um, but it's that mindfulness practice of being aware that you're tense and then softening, right? Softening into the reality. Nothing that I was gonna do in my shoulders or my jaw was going to help the situation. So you soften and you breathe and you just move on to the next thing, one moment at a time. So what we do in here in yoga is so great off the mat, right? We practice staying calm in the midst of a storm. And one great way to stay calm is to breathe. So we're going to do, um, it's called a three-part breath. Um, so take your hands and just gently place them right on your belly. And we're just gonna take a deep breath in, feel the belly rise, and then exhale it out. And then inhale all the way to the belly, feel the belly rise again. And then exhale it out. So try breathing in through the nose this time and then out through the nose. So breathe into the belly and then breathe out through the nose. Now we're gonna breathe into the belly just a little bit and now breathe up into the ribs, feel the ribs expand. And then let the ribs soften on the exhale and then the belly softens as all the air pushes out. And you can give your belly a little squeeze to push any extra air that's in there out. And then breathe into the belly, breathe into the ribs and then soften the ribs, soften the belly, squeeze the belly to push any air out and then inhale to the belly, inhale to the ribs and then exhale, soften the ribs, soften the belly, squeeze any air out and then inhale into the belly, inhale to the ribs. And now this time, inhale all the way up into the collarbones. And then soften the collarbones, exhale, soften the ribs, exhale, soften the belly, exhale. And then inhale, belly, ribs, collarbones. Soften on the exhale, collarbones, ribs, belly. Two more times. Inhale, belly, ribs, collarbones. Soften collarbones, ribs, and belly. And then just bring your hands on your thighs. Just keep your eyes closed. And just notice already doing that deep breathing, if you can feel the energy moving a little more fluidly through the body. Maybe you feel some tingling. And then slowly open your eyes. Good. We're going to take a big sweeping with the hands all the way up. Inhale, reach all the way up. On the exhale, come to goddess arms. So just squeeze and open the elbows out to the side. And then inhale all the way back up to the sky. And then exhale, release them back down to the floor. Good. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Good. Exhale, back to goddess arms. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down. Good, inhale up. Good, exhale to goddess arms. Now we're gonna stay in goddess arms, kind of goal post arms. Take a big inhale and we're gonna look up at the ceiling. Good, kind of arch your back. On the exhale, 
just round. So it's like you're trying to go over a big ball. We're gonna round over a ball. Pull your belly button in and then inhale back to goalpost arms. Good, look up at the sky. Good, exhale, round. And maybe you can reach your hands forward, even hook your thumbs and really stretch long. Good, inhale back to goalpost arms. Good, exhale and round. Reach the arms forward, really round the back. Good, and then let the hands come down to your thighs and roll all the way up. Good. And let's just let our arms dangle at our sides. Good, just let them kind of have them be loose at your side. So you're sitting out at the edge of your chair. We're just gonna squeeze the shoulders up. Squeeze, 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 and then release. Good, take a big inhale, squeeze, 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 and then release. Two more times, big inhale, squeeze, hold it, squeeze, 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 and then release. And then last one, inhale, hold, 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 and release. And just start to make circles with the shoulders, kind of rolling around, nice and slow. Think forward, up, back, and down. Good. So I'm getting ready to swim this summer. I can't wait to get in the water again. I don't want to put a bathing suit on, but I want to be, I want to be in the water. Good. So let's take our left hand and reach it forward and think of doing a backstroke. You're going to reach up to the sky and then flip your palm away like you're pushing the water to kind of come all the way back around doing a backstroke. And let's do it again. Inhale, stay with the, the left hand, reach it up and then pull the water back. Let's do it two more times. Inhale up, exhale, pull the water. So you're resisting, good. Last time, inhale up and then pull the water back. Good, let's switch sides. Just pause for a second. Can you tell the difference between your right and your left? Right, just notice the sensations and then open your eyes. Good, this time the right hand goes forward, reach it forward and up and then flip your palm to the back and then pull all the way back. And then inhale, sweep up, flip the palm, pull the water. So really resist as we're coming around. Inhale, forward and up and then pull all the way back. Last one, inhale, lift up and pull all the way back. Good, and then let's heel toe our feet a little bit wider apart. And then just start to kind of drop down to your elbows. And just notice what you notice. You don't wanna go um, too quickly here. And then maybe see if you can take one hand to the floor. And if your hand doesn't reach the floor, if you've got a table in front, you can kind of grab onto the table, but see if you can bring your fingers all the way down to the floor and then maybe start to drop the head a little bit. And I like to think of a weight on the crown of my head, pulling my head long. So you're getting some nice traction in the, the spine. See if you can shake your head no back and forth, maybe shake your head yes. Really let the head get heavy, good. And then walk your fingertips forward. Stay up on spider fingers. Good, now pull your belly, pull your hips back towards the chair. So you're getting a really nice stretch through the uh, spine. And then we're gonna walk our hands over to the right. Take your left hand way up into the corner, claw your fingertips down. Now pull your um, left sit bone down into the chair. So you're getting a really yummy stretch all the way along the side of the body. Good, and then walk the hands over to the left, stretching the right hand way up into the corner, claw your fingertips down, pull that um, right hip down into the chair. So you should feel a nice stretch along here. And then walk the hands all the way back to center. And we're just gonna slowly come up to the forearms, come up to the forearms and just stay here for a moment, take a breath. 
And then nice and slow, keep staring down. Come all the way up, keep staring down at the floor and just let your body reclimatize because we took the head below the heart. Sometimes we get a bit dizzy when we come up and now slowly shift your gaze forward. Put your hand up if you were dizzy doing that. No? Okay, good, everybody was good. All right, so let's heel toe our feet back into center and let's work the toes a little bit and then we'll come back up to the upper body. So lift your um, right heel up so you're on your toes and you're giving your toes a little bit of a stretch and then drop it and then lift the right heel up again so you should feel the calf muscles squeezing together and then drop down, inhale, lift up and then drop it down. Last one, inhale, lift up and drop it down. So just pause here and grow tall. Think of a string lifting you all the way up. Take your, take your peace fingers and just press your chin in slightly so you're lengthening up through the back of the skull. Because what we do is this, see how we over curve our cervical. So just taking your two fingers and pushing the chin back will lengthen. You still want a little natural curve here, but we tend to do this. So just draw the chin back and lengthen up through the back of the skull. Good. So let's, let's switch over to our left leg now. So lift the left heel up and then drop it. Lift the left heel up and drop it. Lift lower, lift, lower. So you're really squeezing the calf as you lift. Good, now let's alternate. So lift right and then left, right and then left, right and left, right and left. Good, sweep the arms out wide. Good, look up at the sky, really stretch them as far back as you can. Good, and then round, grabbing your right knee and pull your right knee in towards your chest. See if you can bring your nose down towards your knee, really pull your belly button in, and then let's do it again. Inhale, sweep the arms wide, look up at the sky. Good, really stretch through the chest, feel a big opening, and then exhale, round, grab your right knee again, squeeze. And then just hold it here, hold your knee, and we're just gonna roll out the ankle. So make a little circle, scrunch up your toes, roll the ankle out, maybe change the direction of your circle, point and flex the foot, point and flex. Good, and then slowly cross the right ankle over the left knee. And if that's too much, you can have this leg, your um, bottom leg a little bit straight and then sit up, think of that string pulling you up towards the sky. And when I lengthen my spine like that, and I really let my right knee get heavy, notice what you notice right around the hip, right? You should be feeling a little sensation around the hip. And then let's just point and flex the right foot a couple of times. Just point and flex, point and flex, point and flex. Last one, point and flex, good. And then grow tall again. And then think of a string around your heart start leaning forward. And then this is really gonna kick it in high gear. So notice what happens in the body when things get hard, right? Your mind might start going, why is she making us do this pose, right? You might get angry, you might get frustrated, or you might go down a little rabbit hole of, oh, that's the hip that I fell on back in 1972. You know, your, your mind starts going to these stories. Try to cut that all off, cut that all off and just focus on your breath, right? Stop the story. And it all might be true, that's okay. But part of yoga is learning to control your thoughts. And when you control your thoughts, you change your life. Good, take another breath. So notice, I just noticed that my chin was lifting. So take your peace fingers, Tuck your chin in so you're lengthening the back of the spine and then see if you can just drop the chest a little bit lower and then come back to your breath, belly, ribs, collarbones, collarbones, ribs, belly. Good, last one, belly, ribs, collarbones, collarbones, ribs, belly. And then slowly sit up. 
Good. And then let's just take our hands and give our feet a little massage. If you've got your shoes on, hind feet, arms, I know a lot of you don't like to take your shoes off. Just point and flex and roll out the ankle again. But the rest of us, let's just give it a little rub. Get all the blood recirculating. Give each toe a little pull. Keep the toes nice and limber. Good, and then we're gonna pick your um, right leg up and just stretch it off to the side. Good, now grow tall again, and then take your right hand to your right thigh, and we're just gonna slowly start to walk your hand down your leg as far as you can. Good, and maybe you're feeling a big stretch on the left side of the body. Maybe you're feeling a little bit of a stretch in the hamstring of the right leg. Good, so just pause, breathe. So it's a little bit of belly work holding our body up here. Good, and then slowly use the hand to come all the way back up and then bring the foot in. Good, and then let's take the arms wide, look up at the sky. Good, exhale round, grab your left knee, pull it in and see if your nose and knee can touch. And then inhale, arms go wide, look up at the sky. Good, arch your back and then exhale, round and grab your knee, see if your nose and your knee can touch. Good, one more time, inhale, stretch wide, lift the chest up. Good, and then exhale, round, grab. Good, and then just pause here. You're, you can straighten up, but hold onto your knee and just roll the ankle. You might hear some snap, crackle, pops. Scrunch up the toes, spread the toes. Good, really give the ankle a nice roll out. Good, and then nice and slow, slowly cross the ankle over the knee and then grow tall. Good, tuck the chin slightly, lengthen up through the back of the skull and then close your eyes and just notice what you notice. Right, do you feel that sensation? Is it more or less than the right side? Or maybe you feel it in a slightly different area. Maybe it's more in the ball and socket joint as opposed to the glute. Good, now grow a little bit taller and then think of a string pulling your heart forward. So you just lean slightly forward and you don't have to go very far before you start to feel it. And then soften your face. So notice what your triggers are. When things get hard, what happens in the body? Do your shoulders start to hunch up towards the ears? Do you clench your teeth? Do you furrow your brow, right? All of us have different things that happen. So start to notice when the poses get hard, what does your body do? So that when you get in difficult situations off the mat, whether it's just a conversation or there's a fire, or you know something, something else that is stressful is happening, that you can stay calm and alert, right? You don't overreact, you respond to the situation rather than reacting. Soften your face, let's breathe. Belly, ribs, collarbones, collarbones, ribs, belly. One more time, belly, ribs, Collarbones, collarbones, ribs, belly. Now see if you can lengthen the spine a little bit more, just fold a little tiny bit more, not even half an inch further. You should feel the stretch. Good, and then slowly come up. And then let's uncross that leg and take it out to the side. Good, take your left hand to your left thigh. And we're just gonna slowly start walking the hand down the, the leg. And you'll feel a big stretch right in your right, around your right hip, your right side. So it's almost like you're between two panes of glass, your torso, you're just tipping. Try not to fold forward, try to tip to the side a bit. Yeah, there we go, that's it. Yeah, that's it, Aunt Linda, yeah, good. And then feel that yummy stretch right around the right hip. Good, one more breath. Good, and then slowly come all the way up and then bend your leg, come all the way back to center. Good, inhale, sweep your arms wide and high. 
Good. On the exhale, we're going to take the hands behind and see if you can grab the back of your chair. Just some somewhere along the bottom, you can um, grab the seat if you want. If that if that works, good. Okay. And now let's pull forward. So you're leaning forward. So you're getting a bit of a pull right through the front of the chest. See if you can lift your heart up and just give a pull. And I saw, I don't know who that is um, at Heinz Street Farms. It kind of looks like Jack with his hat on. Yeah, so he was kind of leaning side to side. I kind of like that. So let's just kind of lean side to side a little bit. Yeah, nice and slow. Just see if that you're really resisting, holding on tight and kind of giving a little bit of a pull. Good, and now slowly soften, bend the elbows. We're gonna take your left hand behind you and just see if you can grab the right arm or the right elbow. And when you do this, notice how your ribs kind of push out because you're, you're kind of arching your back a little bit. Pull your ribs in, pull your belly button in. Good, and then we're gonna slowly start to drop our right ear down to our right shoulder. So right ear to right shoulder and close your eyes and just let your head get heavy. So keep the shoulders pulling onto your back. Just feel that nice stretch. And then if you wanna just kind of experiment, think about dropping the chin a little bit and then maybe lifting it up. Just play with moving it nice and slow and mindful and just feel that stretch through the neck and you'll find one area where it's like, oh yeah, that's, that's going pretty deep. And then just hold it there and let's come back to the breath. So belly, ribs, collarbones, collarbones, ribs, belly, three-part breath. A sip into the belly, a sip into the ribs, a sip into the collarbone and then reverse it. Good, two more breaths, inhale, 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 exhale, exhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, 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 exhale, exhale, exhale. Now release your hands and we're gonna take our, um, our right hand, or sorry, our left hand up and just guide the head all the way back up. Good, and then just hold it there and push your head into your hand, your hand into your head. See if you can drop your right shoulder down slightly. Good, and then slowly release the hand. Good, and let's just roll the shoulders a couple of times just to stretch out. Good, and then inhale, sweep the arms wide and high. Good, exhale, hands come behind. This time we're going to take our right hand and grab the left elbow behind the body. Good, now notice how you wanna over arch your back. So you gotta really pull the ribs in, pull the belly button in. Notice what's happening with your chin. Imagine taking your peace fingers and tucking the chin and lengthening up through the skull. And then we're gonna slowly drop our left ear down to our left shoulder. Keep squeezing the shoulders together on the back, belly strong, close your eyes and just let the head get heavy. Think of pulling your right elbow down towards the floor to deepen the stretch. And then just soften, soften your face, relax your jaw, just breathe. When you change your thoughts, you change your life, right? You could go down this rabbit hole of, oh my goodness, of whatever's happening. So control your thoughts, right? We work so hard at um, keeping our body healthy, you know, with what we eat, what we drink, moving our body. And yet we forget about our mind. So yoga links all the body, the mind, the spirit. Really let your head get heavy and 
play around with the chin, maybe drop the chin slightly, lift it up, drop the chin slightly. And just find a spot where it's like, oh yeah, that's the, that's the best stretch right there. See if you can pull that right elbow down towards the floor a little bit. And then slowly release your right hand and then bring it all the way up to the side around, grab your head and just slowly pull the head up slightly. Good, now push your head into your hand, push your hand into your head, just a little resistance. Good, and then release the hand all the way down. Good, take the shoulders up, back and down. Good, let's turn our legs over to the right. Good, and then we're gonna take both hands and place them on the back of the chair. So we're gonna come into a twist here. Now pull your belly button in, grow tall, and then slowly think of your belly moving towards the back of the chair. Think of your ribs moving towards the back of the chair. Think of your chest moving towards the back of the chair. And then see if you can turn your whole torso, your face, everything towards the back of the chair. So you're pulling with your left hand, you're pushing with your right hand into the back of the chair. See if you can turn your head and look over your um, right shoulder. Good, and then nice and slow, come all the way back to center. We're gonna stay facing uh, this direction but we're gonna slide back in the chair a little bit and then take your, um, I think this is your left leg. I'm trying to mirror you. So I think it's your left leg and we're just gonna drop it behind. So your, your legs should be going straight down. Your knees should be pointing straight down. So I've got a right angle here and then a right angle down here. So just take your left hand and just place it on your thigh. And I want you to think of growing tall. Think of that string. So sometimes when we grow tall, we grow tall by lifting our chin. We're gonna take our peace fingers and push the chin in, lengthening up through the back of the skull. And then I want you to focus on your tailbone of lengthening your tailbone down towards the floor. So you get a nice stretch in the quad. So keep the spine long, but melt the tailbone down towards the floor. So you should be feeling this in the quad. Yeah, two breaths here, inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two, good. And then take your um, left hand, grab your leg, kind of bring it forward, and then let's turn around back to center. Good, we're just gonna pause in the center before we, um, Go. Let's just look over our left shoulder and then inhale back to center and then look over your right shoulder and inhale back to center and left, back to center and right and back to center. Good. Now let's take our knees all the way over to the other side. Good. Take both hands. Reach around, grab the back of the chair, pull your belly button in and grow tall, grow tall. Good, now slowly start to twist. So think of the belly pulling towards the back of the chair. Think of the ribs pulling to the back of the chair. The chest pulls to the back of the chair. Good. And now this time your left hand pushes, your right hand pulls. See if you can look over your left shoulder. Good, and then slowly come all the way back. And then we're just gonna sit back in the chair a little bit. Your um, one hand is gonna stay on the back of the chair and then just stretch your right leg back, I think. <laughs> Good, so we've got the two 90 degree angles, 90 degree angle. Good, now grow tall, pull the belly button in and then start to melt your tailbone towards the floor. And you should feel a nice stretch through the quad, through the hip flexor. So we really wanna keep these stretch 
because when we sit so much, we shorten them. So we're really trying to lengthen. Good, see if you can grow a little taller, melt the tailbone. Good, and then reach your right hand around, grab the leg, bring it all the way back up. And then let's turn all the way back to center. Good, let's open up our, our wrists a little bit. So let's take your right hand and just start to roll it around. Good, change the direction, roll it the other way. Good, and then flip the palm up towards the ceiling. Take your other hand and just grab your thumb and give it a little pull. Good, and then grab your first finger, give it a little pull back. And your middle finger, give it a pull. Good, and then your ring finger, give it a pull. And then your baby finger, give it a pull. And then take your whole hand, your whole left hand on top of the right hand and pull all the fingers back. Think of lifting the wrist up towards the sky. Good, and now flip the palm down. Take your hand on top and just give it a little gentle pressure down. Good, and then release, shake it out. And then just close your eyes. Can you tell the difference between your right hand and your left? Just start to notice things. Good, and then open your eyes and let's take our left hand and just start to roll it out. Good, and then change the direction. All right, just really being mindful, mindful of where our thoughts are going. All right, we can get on this treadmill of negative thought. Good, and then flip the palm up towards the ceiling. Take your right hand, grab the thumb, and just give it a little gentle pull. And then your first finger, give it a pull. And then your middle finger and your ring finger and your baby finger. And then take the whole hand, grab all the fingers, pull it down. Good, and then flip the palm down, take the hand on top, just a little gentle pressure down. Good, and then give it a shake. And then just close your eyes and notice what you notice. Just feel the blood, the prana in yoga, we call that the prana moving through the body, the energy moving through the body. Okay, and then slowly open your eyes. So we did this one last time I taught. <clears throat> it's called rocking chair. So all we do is kind of lean forward and lean back and really engage your abs when you're leaning back. So forward and then back. You're maybe kind of coming up on your toes a little bit and then rocking back on your heels. So just leaning forward and back. Work the abs when you lean back. Good, now we're gonna see if we can just lean forward a little bit and lift your bottom up off the, off the chair and then rock back and then lift up a little bit and then rock back. So try to use your legs and your glutes so you're not using your hands to push up off the chair if you can. If you have to use them, go ahead. But the goal is to try to use your legs and those booty muscles. Good, and then the last one, we're gonna stay up into chair. So you're just hovering off the, off the chair. Good, hold it. See if you can soften. So the legs and the booty are working, but your face can be soft. Good, hold it. Should be shaking a little bit. Hold it, hold it. Good, and then slowly sit back down. Whew. Yeah, my booties, my booties, uh, I can feel it back of my booty. Yeah, good. Okay, let's just do a cat and cow. So hands come onto your knees and we're gonna kind of squeeze the elbows in and lift your chest, arch your back, 
And then on the exhale, tuck the chin, round to the back, grab onto your knees and kind of lean back. Good, and then inhale, lift the heart, squeeze the elbows into the side. Kind of jut your chin up towards the ceiling. And then tuck the chin, round to the back, hold onto your knees and really pull back. Feel that nice stretch in the upper back, lean back. Two more times, inhale, arch and lift. Exhale and round. Good, inhale, lift. And then exhale and round. Just hold it here, stay back. So really grab onto your knees and see if you can lean back and maybe kind of shrug your left shoulder forward and then the right, but keep leaning back and just kind of like you're doing a little shimmy dance. Your um, abs are pulled in. Good, and then slowly round up, keep your eyes closed. And just notice what you notice. I'm starting to get a little sweat on. I don't know about you. I can feel that my body's warming up. Good. And then open your eyes. I'm just going to do one last pose standing. So come up and just take your chair to the side. And I just wanted to stretch out the legs a little bit. So hands on the back of the chair. And let's step our right leg back and push the heel towards the floor. Your left knee bends forward towards the chair. See if you can keep your spine long. I like to push down on the chair and then think of my spine lifting long. Good, and then really open that back calf, your right calf, the right Achilles. Good, one more breath. Good. So if you get Charlie horses uh, in the middle of the night, this is a good one to do before you go to bed and also be drinking quite a bit of water um, throughout the evening and then slowly come up. Although then you're up all night going to the bathroom, <laughs> right? Yeah. So before dinner, try to drink quite a bit. So let's switch legs. So take your left leg back, arms are straight, pushing down into the chair, lift your chest up. Good, and then push back on that heel. Try to really dig the heel into the, into the ground. You can dive your right knee a little more forward. That'll take a little more action into the back of the leg. And then just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Good, and then slowly step forward. And then we're gonna walk both legs back. Good, knees are bent until you can get your chest parallel to the floor. So you want the torso parallel to the floor. Pull your belly button in. Think of sticking your booty away from your chair. So you're really trying to lengthen the spine. This is free chiropractic work right here. We're stretching out the spine. A lot of these poses over the years, I've had people come to me and say, oh, this is exactly what we do at the chiropractors the exact same poses. So pull your hips away, press down with your hands, your ears are level with your um, arms, knees are bent and pull away. And maybe just wag your tail a little bit. And then push down into the chair, slowly come up and just walk all the way back up to the chair. Let me just see what time it is. Oh, we're out of time. Okay, so let's turn back. And if you wanna go down to the floor, you can lay down on the floor and put your legs up on the chair if you have carpet around you. Otherwise, we'll just do Shavasana right in the chair. So close your eyes and lean, this time lean back into the chair so your back is supported um, by the back of the chair. Hands just rest on your thighs facing down. And just start to soften. So becoming more mindful of our thoughts, right? We go down and um, yeah, a lot of in Buddhism, they talk about grasping to the highs and grasping to the lows, right? And life is going to go up and down. That's, that's how it goes. So when we cling to the good times, 
and we don't want the good times to end, you know that's not sustainable, right? We're causing ourselves suffering by clinging to that. And it's the same thing with the lows when we think we're never going to get out of that moment, but we know the moment will pass. So you just kind of like the waves, you're just riding the waves, um, not getting caught up in, in the highs and the lows. Just soften your face. So feel the earth beneath your feet, the support of mother earth beneath us. And let the legs start to soften, let your feet start to relax. Even feel the calf muscle just soften and maybe fall away from the bone a little bit. Think of the upper thighs resting a little deeper into the chair. Just visualize the hips just sinking down into the chair. Just notice how your spine is nice and long, supporting the skeletal structure. Put, bring your focus to your arms. Let the elbows get heavy. Bring your focus to your hands resting on your thighs. Feel your shoulders relax. Let the skin on the front of your throat soften. You can let the whole face relax a little bit more. Just let the lips separate slightly, letting the lower jaw move away from the upper jaw, letting the tongue relax in your mouth. Let the eyes soften behind your closed eyelids. Let the space between your eyebrows soften. And feel the air against your skin. Just take in any sounds, maybe any gurgling in the belly, any sounds in the room that you're in, any sounds outside of the room that you're in. reminding yourself that you are safe, you are loved, all is well. And nice and slow, just start to wiggle your fingers. Maybe wiggling the toes or stretching one leg forward and then the other. And then slowly opening your eyes. You could bring your hands in front of your heart. I bow. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining me today.
Have a great rest of your day. And uh, I'll be up next week. So I'll be here. I'll be here next week. Okay, good. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay. Okay. See ya. Bye, Bye Shirley. Bye-bye. Who was the other one on? Was Martha on? No, I don't think she made it on. She, I think she was on there, but she was texting me saying um, that it, uh, um, that she couldn't get 